Okay, stream, welcome back. We're here to another episode of Aiko's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, episode 3, first day of Angel Grove High. So, um, last time we were with the Rangers, um, they were battling some putty patrollers uh, in the streets of Angel Grove Industrial District uh, after having a senior field day. Um, getting together, meeting Alpha and Zordon, learning some Morphin lore, uh, channeling, channeling the Morphin grid, being attuned to their spectrum colors, uh, and that all happened over the course of a weekday. <clears throat> it's since been, it's since been, uh, a weekend. It's now the first Monday of the school year. Everyone is. A senior at Angel Grove High meeting up since their first gathering. We have a rambunctious group of Angel Grove uh, citizens. New kid in town, professor, somewhat semi mean girl. We don't know. Maybe she was just having an off day. <laughs> uh, we have some Pit Viper Kai students, martial arts students. Um, we also got to meet some student faculty, uh, student body. We got the, um, the cheer squad. Got some of the metalheads. <laughs> uh, we got to meet Miss Perez, the principal of Angel Grove High. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and introduce us. We're going to begin today, uh, as all the Rangers have been contacted by Alpha and Zordon, before their first day of school, they're going to have an early morning meeting in the command center about some updates that Alpha 5 and Zordon have been conducting the weekend prior over the location of some powerful artifacts that the rangers might need um, in their battle against the forces of evil. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let my rangers introduce themselves. As of course you know, I'm Ego, your GM. Uh, I'm accompanied here in person, on location, <laughs> with uh, uh, none other than uh, Wall Parker, uh, the... Uh, we call him the Speed Demon. <laughs> Fastest car in Angel Grove, maybe. We'll have to see. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, say hello. Uh, all right. Um, um, yeah. Still looking to race. <laughs> now beat up some uh, some weird, ugly-looking things. Very nice, very nice. We have, next up, we have... Um, Cannibal Queen, a uh, very valued stream community member, playing none other than Miss Kimberly Hart, our Pink Ranger. She's a bit of a, a novelist, aspiring novelist. Uh, um, had a little bit, like I said, of a Mean Girl streak, but we don't know. I'm thinking that was kind of a one-off, but I'll let her introduce herself. She's uh, pretty in pink, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> There we go. And next, I will go ahead and be introducing our uh, kind of our chill, down to earth, kind of lazy uh, Green Ranger. Kind of reluctant to be in the group. Kind of got dragged into things when a commotion happened over on the uh, dance floor. <laughs> Thanks to a certain. Uh, a uh, uh, certain driver and a Pit Viper Kai student who uh, happened to uh, make a demonstration, martial arts demonstration, go uh, astray. So that's none other than Lilith Gonzalez, uh, played by uh, also longtime community member uh, Nessie. Nessie, if you want to say hello. <coughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I like, I like, wait, I thought I was just I was doing, 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 um, um, like arrow, arrow, shooting arrows last time. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's shoot, right. Shoot blind shot arrows. <laughs> you did. You did yeah, blind. I blind shot arrows. Or I tried to. He didn't let me. <laughs> well, the instructor. He had some other thoughts. I think you uh, you wanted to take the bow and aim it directly at him. <laughs> Point no. Blank. Yeah, because he kept insulting my intelligence. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't know how to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> True. Good point. Good point. See. See. Um. But thank you for introducing yourself. The lore, it's as we say, it's it's real, it's powerful. Uh, we also have our um, 
our esteemed science teacher, uh, uh, also a recent addition to the Angel Grove uh, High School faculty. We got uh, Maximus Brain is Power, who helped uh, chaperone our students on their first field day for the uh, welcoming senior class, uh, and who also helped them um, enjoy a, let's say, an inventful um, shooting star uh, uh, phenomenon that happened out in the uh, Angel Grove Mountain, mountain Range. Uh, Maximus Brain is Power, played again by our one and only Mug Lord, my Mug Brother. <laughs> if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I am Mug Lord, his Mug Brother. <laughs> yep. the, uh, the the cultural, cultural teacher of memes, as he says. <laughs> and science. <laughs> he can do both. Um, uh, unfortunately, due to some very very last minute uh circumstances our uh two rangers are going to be absent um our our black ranger terry mcginnis uh played by the big bit cheering king himself abyssal lich is not going to be here uh he had to go he wanted to be here he was ready to go and some things happened so you know i'm hoping everything is okay but uh he will definitely be here next time uh also absent but i will be playing for them today uh our yellow ranger Skywalker, who is also a uh, Pit Viper Kai student at one of three. Uh, um, again, kind of, kind of just lounging about. Had a little, uh, got a little anxious. Kind of level-headed. Kind of keeps the uh, the group um, uh, considering options. Very stoked to be a, a superhero, as he put it, uh, when they were having a very important uh, diner discussion uh, after a recent turn of events and the weight. The responsibility of protecting Earth from one very evil space witch, Rita Repulsa, and her army of evil. He will be played by me today, so I will be Skywalker. Um, on that note, we're going to go ahead and jump into things. So, like I said, we're beginning prior to our early morning, first day of Angel Grove High. Zordon and Alpha 5 have alerted the Rangers. They've been teleported before <clears throat> they make it to school. There are some very important things that must be uh, discussed. Some new, some new information has recently come to light. As the rangers begin their day, they find themselves transformed into their spectrum color. And we see waves of light zoom them into the sky, into the mountain range, and into the command center and the power chamber where Zorda and Alpha reside. Ay, 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 Zordon! As Zordon's power tube begins to illuminate, his very essence is, is brought to life. Alpha, yes. I did precisely as you asked, and I have teleported the rangers to the command center. Thank you, Alpha. There is a great talk we must be having. They should be here momentarily. And... As soon as he says that, the rangers and their spectrum colors fly into the command center. Without missing a beat, Zordon says, Rangers, sorry for disturbing your personal lives, but I've summoned you here for something very important that I must make aware to everyone. He then proceeds to explain Rita Repulsa's one-off attack, although it was in, we'll say in a maybe not an outright declaration of war but it was a test to see what defenses earth could provide should she begin to infiltrate rangers i'm just want to say again i'm very proud of you for your battle that you had you showed heroism resourcefulness teamwork you all came together on very short notice but you're going to have to do that again for I fear Rita Repulsa has made Angel Grove her number one target for finding whatever it is she's looking for. And me and Alpha have been tracking putty, groups of putty patrollers throughout Angel Grove. They've been located at parks. They've been going through certain districts. We've been doing what we can to scramble the news and your media cycle so that we can keep this under wraps. We would like to keep an outright panic from erupting 
on your world. If we can control the situation safely, discreetly, it would be in our best interest. As you know, you have your power morphers and your power coins. You probably found out that all of your abilities have been heightened in your first battle against the putty patrollers. But there is more power that is at your becking call. When the time comes, you will need to morph. And what you need to know about this power is it does not respond to a desire. It responds to a need. When the need is great enough, you will know what to do. Until then, trust yourselves. Rely on each other. And me and Alpha will keep you updated should we have any escalation anywhere around Angel Grove. But again, we know this is a tall order. We're rangers. You did not choose this. We chose you. We will try to let you have your personal lives so that you are free to do as you can. All good. Well, all good. I'll be sure to run over any of those ugly guys as I see them. <laughs> or if I see them on the road. <laughs> yes, patrols. I like that idea. But again, me and Alpha are doing what we can. Let us worry about patrols. Again, you try to focus on living your lives when we need to summon you or should any information be necessary to share, we will contact you. So as this, this whole just summoning us here thing, is there any way you can move my car with me? Because last time getting home was a bit weird. Alpha, is this doable? Ay ay ay! Transporting matter with human flesh. Let's see. I'll have to go. Let me go to the power modulator. It should be a simple fix. Let me see. Compensating. Dividing by zero. <laughs> Weight times the mass. Circumference of the earth. Yes, Zordon! We should be able to transport Wall with his car. In fact, all the rangers. Should you have any belongings? They should be transportation safe. Of course, the bigger the object, the harder the transportation will be. So just keep that in mind. No, thank you. No problem, so Ranger. We won't morph with our objects, hopefully. Like, we're not going to be like some weird cyborg things, right? <laughs> As Zordon lets out a chuckle. No, Lilith, no. The way the morphing energy works, it will surround your essence, your being. And you will have the might of the morphing grid materialize around you as everything on your person gets placed into a pocket dimension until you unmorph. So there should be no side effects or, or unwantedness with the transformation when the time comes. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. But yes, as Zordon and Alpha give each other some looks and stares, it is an important day for you, as Alpha has been keeping tabs. It is your first day of school, and education is a valuable resource. Yes, the most important thing. Yes, yes. as it is. <laughs> and we happen to have an instructor among us, <laughs> shaping our youth. I cannot thank you enough. Maximus Brain is power. Such is life. <laughs> what class are you teaching, Professor? I need to what? make sure you're on my schedule. This is some important things. Um, I can, you know, ask around, see what we can do to make you have the class. It's no big deal. That's good to help. Thank I think you. he was a special needs teacher. <laughs> As Skywalker lets out a chuckle. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Sorry, you have sorry. special needs. You know where to go. <laughs> um, maybe I won't join your class. I don't know. <laughs> and then, well... You know. Just know that if you're in my class, you're pretty much not going to do anything because of this whole morphing grid deal. So, you know, cho choices is yours. I don't know. I think it'll affect my rep being in a special needs class. <laughs> I can't, I can't be having that. As uh, Skywalker interjects, you gotta remember, he's the new kid. He's got enough uh, on his plate. You know Bulk and Skull. <laughs> Ooh, 
Who? What? Oh, don't worry. You'll find out. <laughs> sure. Let's add a little a little smirk. We got your back, though. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, and then again, uh, precisely on time, as Skywalker's wristwatch begins to beep. Uh, uh, not his communicator, but a regular regular watch. Uh, Zorda, I don't mean to uh, be rude or anything, but uh, we got five minutes to get to class for a first day. Uh, are we going to be able to teleport into the school somewhere nearby? We're kind of pressed for time here. I, I, I need to go back to my car. It's, I got some stuff to do after class and teleport. To, you're not going to teleport me to those tasks. I need to get myself there. I can be a little bit late. It's fine, Zordon. Mm, yes, don't worry. Teleportation should not be an issue. Alpha, can you find a discreet location to teleport our rangers and their aforementioned car? Right away, Zordon. Perfect, thank you. Again, just a few blocks down. I've got it. There's an alleyway. I don't see any pedestrians. You should be good to teleport. Is everyone ready? Anyone need a ride to school or are you guys just going straight there? You can you can lift them in my car if you... If, it's on you guys. Uh, I'd rather just go straight to school. I was like, saves me the hassle of walking. Fair. This guy is also like... Eh, I'll take that right if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. You can take, take shotgun. That's good. All right. Uh, uh and then again, Terry kind of just—he's been silent this entire time. And the thing to know about Terry is that this is his second first day of senior class. He's like, well. Also, uh, I guess I'll take that ride, uh, with uh, wall. If there's any space. I assume uh, there would be some. Space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, all right, I'm riding with him. Someone else called shotgun, so you get backseat. Not not the best spot in the car, but you'll get to school safe. Don't worry. All right, then. And so Alpha begins to put in the coordinates in the command center database mainframe. And he's like, all right, Rangers, teleporting in three, two, one. As he pushes the teleportation panel, everyone morphs into the spectrum color. We have everyone going just a few blocks down. Wall, Sky, Terry, along with uh, Wall's car. We have Lilith, Maximus, <clears throat> also Kimberly. All conveniently placed, a few blocks, within five minutes of Angel Grove High. Whoa, well, I don't know about you guys, but that teleportation, uh, kind, it's kind of getting me hungry. I don't know. Was it just me? I was like, did he eat breakfast? I mean, we just got here. <laughs> right, well, I don't know. I... Maybe I'm just always hungry. Who knows? But <laughs> hopefully lunch is good today. I don't know. Angel Grove Cafeteria is kind of hit or miss. <laughs> well, I got to go find a good parking spot. I'll see the rest of you guys that are walking in school later. And then I will take off as fast as possible into the direction of the school with uh, the other two people in the car. All right. So as Wall starts his engine... Uh, trans transporting in his car into the parking lot of Angel Grove and you can see it's the first day there's a lot of seniors some who have uh, some uh, obviously looking first time cars that are fixer uppers kind of just getting from point A to point B we have some uh, some uh, some cars that look like that might have been rear ended maybe they hit mountains learning to drive you know teenagers learning to drive uh, not the best of times, but we also have some of the uh, some of the elite students, uh, wealthy family kids, you know, uh -huh. they're coming in and top tier, just shiny. Obviously, things have been waxed, all kind of finding their their spots. They've they've been in Angel Grove for three years. This is their fourth year. They're excited to claim claim their right as a senior class and they're going to park where they want, how they want. So. 
Uh, we're going to cut to Wall, Sky, and Terry. Uh, uh, as Wall is driving through, trying to get into the lane, Sky's like, oh man, everyone else is late today too, it looks like. Uh, I don't know if you're going to find parking, man. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just, just keep your eyes open, and I'm, I'm weaving in and out of traffic, like maybe even going in the opposite direction, just not hitting anything, but... Just the most unsafe teenage driver you can see. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the the gas is always on max. Just <laughs> getting there. I'm getting there. And uh, uh, do I see any decent parking spots near the front? So, it's as everyone who rightfully so knew how first days go. A lot of the senior class has already gotten here early so they could get their good spots claiming dibs for the entire school year okay. um off to the side almost by the gymnasium you say that there are two parking spots open it's up to you if maybe if you want to try to go for one of those yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that i can get there i can make it, do I, it uh, does, any, does it does it look like anyone's going for it as of right now everyone's just kind of scrambling again it's a little odd that there's Two vacant spots. I don't care if there's teacher signs there. It's fine. Gonna, I'm taking one of them. I'm not slowing down either. All right. I'm not hitting anyone, but I'm not slowing down. So again, as he described, he's he's weaving in and out. He's making his way. He's gunning. He's gunning. As he's approaching, there's one car. Don't worry, guys. It might be a bumpy ride. Just just make sure your seatbelt are on. Again, uh, <laughs> this guy's like. Uh, about seatbelts. I don't think I have one. Uh, well, why don't I have a seatbelt? <laughs> uh, there, there should be some duct tape in the glove box. Just just don't mind any of the stuff in the glove box. Just get the duct tape. Uh, oh god. Alright. Uh, uh, so he begins just looking for something to hold on to. He sees some of, like, open frame of the car, and he kind of nudges his hands. <laughs> kind of like a handle. He's like, alright. Uh. There is some rattling sounds coming from the engine. <laughs> D despite being a very good uh, car person, uh, the car isn't in the best shape. <laughs> if anyone has noticed it before. I don't think we've described it yet. We have not. So, anyway. as we, as certain rangers brace for the car ride of this morning. All right, someone's trying to take my spot, too. How close are they to my spot? Do I got to do some flips and sh <laughs> <laughs> in my car? <laughs> well, as you were bracing, stepping on the gas, it looks like... One group, we can see it looks like a Jeep pulls in and takes one of the vacant spots, and it looks like it's none other than that very cheer squad. Oh. The one who you might have accidentally uh, really taken really over with the metalheads. <laughs> I think so. I They're, think uh, so. Well, that's fine. They can have that spot. I do owe them one. Mm hmm, mm hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You're definitely not on the greatest of terms with them, but you're not on the worst either. Uh, there was a certain Inez who uh, offered, looked like she was offering some friendship. Uh, we don't know. Maybe we'll find out today. But it it is looking like there is one spot, just about two car, two cars over. If you want to try to get that one, it looks like there is another car. It's not going fast, but it is aiming for the same parking okay. spot. I need to. I'm still going as, as fast as I humanly can, and I'm I'm going for it. I'm gunning for it. I'm I'm going to steal it from this person if that's what they're trying to do. All right. And and again, unsafe. So, I'm going to need you to make a driving check for me, please. Oh, good. Um, this should be a thing. This should be good. Uh, I need two of these. I need a whole bunch of dice. Every single die. Here we go. Every single die, he says. I wonder how right. this is going to turn die. out. Which one of these is a d12? This one? I don't roll that one. Uh, 10, 15, without a cr Oh, right, coin. 15. The coin doesn't matter. All right. So, again, kind of booking it. You're you're gunning for that spot. You don't care who that is on the other side of you, but no, you're getting no, it. No, it's mine. <laughs> it's yours. I saw it first, clearly. <laughs> exactly. 
So, going through, kind of just making some space. He kind of expertly, just kind of like in second nature, kind of just turning the wheel. You do what you have to to kind of just turn your car ever so slightly so that you drift enough <laughs> to go exactly from the lane into perfect parking. Perfect. <laughs> Cutting off whoever was on the other side of you. And boy, do they look mad. <laughs> Can't make out who they are, but you kind of see them throwing hands in the air like, what the heck? You got to be faster, dude. <laughs> I, I say that as I get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Sky is kind of just like, all right. Again, he's kind of just stiff in his arm and his feet. He's like, don't worry. I'm the safest driver on the street. Yeah, that's not what I would use to describe you, but we're here, so job no, well no. done, dude. I'm not going to hit anything. You're, you're always safe in my car. <laughs> Terry kind of just... That goes for you too, Terry. Kind of has a smirk, hasn't said anything. He's been silent. And he's like, well, I feel bad for whoever was that, so... <laughs> he also gets out. Uh, you guys begin to make your way up into the front gates of Angel Grove High School. We cut back to... This time, it looks like our second group, Maximus, Lilith, and Kimberly, who did not take the uh, the speedy, uh, we'll say carpooling, <laughs> carpool offer of, of wall. Uh, again, about the same couple blocks away. <clears throat> so... Uh, I take it you guys are walking to to uh to school, carefree, not worrying about anything. Maybe uh, uh, yeah. I was like, I'm walking to school um to avoid, as you just heard, the death trap. But, uh, the death trap. Safest part on the road. <laughs> I feel insulted. Death trap. <laughs> yeah, being safe. <laughs> Death trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's just me not... staring at the whole the uh, chaos survived. that was happening. <laughs> I'm still wondering how they survived uh, drifting into that parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty, a pretty expert drift, I will say. So, again, <laughs> I was but, like, uh... I'm surprised his car survived. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fell off. No bumpers. <laughs> just, just a little bit of engine metal. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, I walk to school. Um, I ask uh, Skyler, right? I'm Pink Ranger. Oh. Uh, Kimberly, Pink Ranger. Yes. Kimberly, uh, if she wants to go walking with me as well. Yeah, we are walking. <laughs> I'm being safe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, I say bye to the special needs teacher <laughs> and <laughs> pretend not to know him from this point on. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And then I, if I remember correctly, Maximus, you, you have a, a certain, um, uh, truck with, uh, some inflatables, if I remember correctly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, inflatable experiments, you know, I can't say the darnest things, you know? <laughs> That they do, that they do, and as a staff member, you do have your own parking space, so getting to work should be uh, no issue for you. Yeah, it's really no issue at all, you know, kind of, if anyone needs help, just let me know, but yeah, here I am. There we go, so we continue. We have uh, the girls of the group walking safely. Uh, we have Maximus uh, uh, with his inflatable science experiments in the... I don't know if we dubbed it anything, but uh, the Mugmobile uh, going into his parking spot. <clears throat> Everyone hears the first bell ring of the school year. Ding, 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 ding. And then not even a second later, Principal Perez over the loudspeaker intercom system. That was the first period bell. Students of Angel Grove High School. I just want to wish you a good first day. Make some excellent choices. I hope you learn a few new things. And I hope you enjoy the curriculum for the school year. Take care, students. See you all tomorrow. And 
You hear a loud click. Boo! <laughs> the booing of some students. It's uh, kind of apparent. Terry kind of been silent. He, uh, as he walks in, he kind of walks past the the gate. Instead of going in, he just keeps going down the sidewalk. He, uh, he's not going in the direction of, uh, the high school. He's, looks like he's going down back towards the alley. Uh, he's by himself. He's kind of nonchalantly. He's not trying to hide it. He is kind of just doing it. I don't think he expects to have anything happen, but he is going that way. Everyone else has safely made it inside. Uh, the, uh, yard duties are locking the gates. Everyone is going to have the most fun learning over these next eight hours. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, oh my god. <laughs> it's the most important chunk of the day. <laughs> For a young man's life. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes man. goes to their, their first few periods of learning. Uh, you know, you got your different subjects, courses, math, language arts, history. How many of those can I sleep through? <laughs> Um, uh, well, uh, how many of those see. do I successfully sleep through? That this um, is this is important information. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sleeping through at least your first four periods before the lunch break. Okay, good. I'm. Um, let me see. Roll me three different. <laughs> give me three different. Let's say for you. Let's say roll me. I'm gonna ask for an alertness check. Uh, I have that as a snag, so I fail all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your uh, first four periods of learning in. Uh, okay. Good, I guess. Uh, uh, as everyone's going through their their classes, getting through the day, you know, you got those those teachers that are bringing icebreaker questionnaires. Everyone so far has no one has had any of their schedules um, cross over yet, so they've been pretty um pretty alone um but it is the first uh the first break lunch we hear the ringing of uh the school bell yet again ring 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 immediately all the seniors run out of their classrooms and run all over to the senior patio to go get that senior food <laughs> beating all the freshmen sophomores <laughs> juniors getting you know getting those uh those uh chili cheese burritos those domino's pizzas <laughs> um those uh carefully carefully created um senior dishes looks like today's uh it's got some pasta and some slices of toast um so like the final or finally getting some of the perks of being a senior this oh week. yeah exactly exactly some of the perks People are uh, running over. People are heading to the quads. People are hanging out by classrooms. Other students are going into, you know, the band room, hanging out with favorite teachers. Everyone's kind of mingling for this about 45 minute break. Uh, does anyone want to go anywhere or try to look, locate someone, meet up? Yeah, I'm busy with school stuff, so I'm going to be in the classroom. So people have to meet me. <laughs> yeah. I need to find a spot to sleep. I, I had stuff to do last night. Need sleep. Got you. Got you. <laughs> well, okay. Maximus, he's uh, he's busy doing his uh, his science experiments in his classroom. Uh, uh, you know, I'm at work. <laughs> yep, work. he is at work. <laughs> <laughs> Literally doing his job. Exactly. <laughs> Um, well, I was searching the campus again. Everything is foreign to you. You gotta remember, you are the new kid. Yeah. No, I, I don't know where to go. I'm just like, uh, I need, I need food. So I'm gonna go get food, and then I'm probably gonna look for somewhere to take a nap. Because I couldn't achieve that in my other classes. Hmm. Again, kind of in your search, just going down the halls, going into the main quad area. You're also, you know, just looking around, trying to find where people are going. That's like, that might be the cafeteria. This might be another science building. You're kind of just, you know... Don't know if you're gonna have to take a decision. You know, you're gonna have to pick a building and kind of go there and hope it's hope there's food in and around it. Is there anyone near me? 
Um, like people walking by. You see, kind of everyone. Everyone's kind of walking, more or less, just I'm chatting. Just gonna, like nudge someone. Go, hey, where's the cafeteria? I'm starving. Uh, as you nudge someone, you kind of just you know, kind of one of those little elbows, and it's like, oh, whoa, uh, food? someone. Where where do I go get get food? Oh, oh, you're new around here, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just we we moved here like a week ago, or some some bullshit happened. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, got you, man. Well, uh... I, I literally don't know where Shadow is going. <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's see, uh, you a junior, sophomore, senior, what? Senior. Okay, well, uh, see that big old line of students just hurting off of the corner towards that building? Does that line ever die down? Yeah, I, I hope... Uh, yeah, got some bad news for you, man. Okay, um, that, that line dies down, right? Uh, food now, but I got some more bad news for you, dude. God, yeah, uh, right, I bring well. a lunch, actually. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I can't afford to right now. It's it's. I mean, there, there's if no you food got at home, not you, not for basic re not not for poor reasons, but for stupid reasons. Gotcha. Uh, you could always try your best. I mean, if you got any cash on you, you can always try buying, you know, some food off of someone. Uh, I've yeah. done it myself, but they're they're gonna charge you. Nah, it's just. <laughs> I'm not getting scabbed by someone. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, just... I guess I starve. I'm, I can just... Pass this out soon. Yeah, just, uh... Pro tip, uh, as soon as you hear that bell ring, anything you can do to get out of class early, uh, just run over there. Legitimately run. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. No problem, man. Keep no that problem. in mind. Uh, I guess I'll go... I guess I'm... I, back to plan B of finding somewhere to sleep. All right. Nice shady area. Doesn't matter. Um. Uh, so. Oh, like question. Do we get to leave campus since we're technically seniors? Oh, that's a good idea. Since you are technically seniors and you are definitely in good standing, you got a uh, good grades. You are allowed to leave for lunch. So I can. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> Walt doesn't know this being a new student. <laughs> okay. That's what you're saying. I can go check on my car. You know what? That is an option. Well, actually, no. I don't know. I can leave. Never mind. Nice shady area it is. Uh huh. Okay. So, so is. Like, uh... Knowing you, you'd probably try to sneak off to your car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to leave, that you that is perfectly acceptable. There are. You know, plenty of food outlets, uh, conveniently placed around the uh, the school area. So you know, there's there's some fast food, there's some Chinese, got subs. I was like, because for me, I think I'll leave school and probably go walk to get a sub. All right, perfect. So we cut to you. You're kind of just going through the office uh, again. Like I said, you're in good standings. Some of the uh, office attendants. Some of the, um, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, you got the faculty, some of the president of the principal, you got the vice principal, and you got some of the learning directors, you know, kind of waving. They're like, oh, going for lunch? <clears throat> yep, going for lunch. Yeah. Well, hope you enjoy it. Just make sure you're back on time. You got it. <clears throat> and then they kind of just, you know. Go back to what they were doing, filing, making copies, you know, filling out paperwork. You're able to walk through the, uh, the, um, you know, there's a, a door, you kind of pass through it. It opens, no alarms or anything, you know, you just walk out, you're in the parking lot again. Uh, where do you go from here? Uh, from here, I, well, where's the, the sub sound? Is that going to be like to the... Right of the school, or do I have to like? Ah, okay. So, uh, walking out the 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 office door, which is side to the main gate, um, you're gonna want to go through the parking lot, um, down the street. It's about two lights over, and there's kind of a plaza where there's you know a shopping center, bunch of fast food, um, that sub place I mentioned. Okay, oh. so I'll go to the right walk towards that sub place um do i need to roll anything to see how long it's going to take me to get there uh no Actually, it's... Like, how long is lunch 
Then you guys got about up. 45 minutes to eat. So oh, yeah. it's, like I said, it's, you know, you go down the parking lot. School's pretty big, but the parking lot, you can probably make the end of the parking lot in like a minute or two if you're casually walking. Uh, the lights, depending on traffic, uh, that might be another maybe like five, ten minutes. That leaves you with about 30, 30 okay. minutes. Some of that has to, of course, be broken to eat, and then you need time to get back. Okay. I was like, uh... So I'll, I'll do this instead. I'll go to the end of the parking lot and then I'll scout out from there. Can I see like which food place has the smallest line, I guess? In that yeah, vantage? yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see that. So again, kind of you just you walk down the parking lot, you go down, you cross the lights, you get into the, uh, the plaza. Uh, like I said, you see, you know, there's... There's that sub shop. Uh, you're gonna got some fast food. You got you got that uh, that burger shack. You got that um uh that that um. There's a cool ramen ramen shop as well. Don't know if I mentioned that. There's that. Um, you got you got a uh, very very expensive, but there is a, a maestro's <laughs> steakhouse. <laughs> Again, like, you probably uh, don't have time for that, but you, you know you yeah, got options. Like, you got options. I was like, which one of those are the shortest line? That is definitely going to be, uh, it's completely up to you, but the ramen shop, you could probably get a, a fast bowl, um, you know, uh, egg roll or something. Uh, there's also the subs. Those are pretty made to your uh, to your order. Yeah, you know, yeah I'll probably go to the sub then. I was like, I'll still go to the sub then if it's still not going to take that long. So I'll walk that way um, to get a sub to go. Um, I was like, is there anyone else that's also accompanying me or is there anyone that I meet along the way that I know of? Um, let's see. Wall's looking for a place to nap. Uh, Terry is nowhere to be found on this first day. Uh, Sky's kind of doing his thing. He knew about the rush, so he's he's already in line trying to get his, uh, his premium senior food. Um, it'd be okay if Kimberly wanted to join you. I know she's kind of in uh, uh, so far, looks like you got a friendship brewing. <laughs> if she wanted to join uh, you. Yeah, I would like to join you. Um, maybe go and shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so again, kind of seeing you uh, going through the office. She's like, I wonder if you're going to go eat. And she kind of, you know, follows you, uh, catches mm -hmm. up with you and kind of lets you know if you're going to go get something to eat. And it looks like. You're both going to go get some, some subs, so you're going to do that. Are you going to eat there and uh, have a conversation, or are you going to eat and come back to the school? Uh, well, my original plan, and I tell her, was I wanted to grab a sub and then come back and eat somewhere on the school, so then it's less, like, I could take more of my time eating. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean... Like I said, it's short line. You both can just get your subs in and out kind of a deal. So if you know what you guys are going to get, you're, again, you've been there before. They kind of know you. So if you want to go in and get the usual, that's uh, that's another go-to if you want to do that. Um, yeah, I, I'll get my usual. Uh, a turkey sub. Um, and I offer to pay for this lunch to Kimberly and she pays for next lunch. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hmm. Got you. So is there anything else? Uh while you're getting your orders kinda just waiting. There they're toasting the bread. <clears throat> Always gotta get toasted bread. Uh are you kinda just toasted standing bread. in silence? Uh I am just because I'm not up, I'm very awkward, so I will pretend to be looking at posters to avoid <laughs> talking. <laughs> <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, you guys do get your sandwich. You start making your way back. You have about with the time it took you to get there. You know, you got you got about ten, twelve-ish minutes to eat before the bell rings. You know, you know, as seniors, you can kind of stretch the time. You know, teachers aren't going to be too mad. You can get away with a little extra on the first couple of days before they start reeling in the rules, throwing the book at you, that kind of a thing. Yeah, that sort of thing. 
So you definitely get your subs. You come back. You enjoy your meal. Uh, um, the remaining amount of time, which is about the 15 minutes, passes. Again, the uh, lunch bell rings the second time, letting everyone know that it's time for the last three periods of the day, beginning with fifth period. So ring, 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 everyone. It was it was like a madhouse of everyone rushing to go get their food. And this time it's just a slog. Everyone's like, oh, I got to go to class. Everyone's just taking their time. Multiple students are late. People are just having conversations, you know, they're not even going to their class. <laughs> some some kids might be ditching, other people are frantically looking at their schedules, trying to find out where they're supposed to go. The first bell doesn't wake me up. Uh, it, I'm going to continue sleeping. If it does wake me up, I'm going to go to the lunch line. <clears throat> because it's only the first bell. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, all right. Uh, roll me in uh, another alertness check. I, I fail that. I don't <laughs> pass them. <laughs> well, I got some bad news for you all. Uh, you definitely just not having enough sleep from prior events. That first spell wakes you up loud and clear. You got. You were lucky if you got like four minutes of actual rest. Just kind of trying to block everyone out, all the conversations, you know. <clears throat> Kids going crazy. <laughs> yep. So again, you got some of the faculty and staff. Get to class, students. Get to class. They're kind of, you know, moving people along. Can't hang out. Have your conversations after school. You only got another three hours. Get to class. <clears throat> so everyone's getting, like I said, getting ushered. They're funneled back into the classrooms. That's almost quiet. Um... Again, this time, by happenstance, it looks like, Wall, you have a class with Lilith and Kimberly. Oh, hey guys, how, how was lunch? What class is it? Um, since you missed filling in your electives on the kind of being a new student and the paperwork wasn't submitted in time, you're you're in fashion tech. Wonderful. This is an easy <laughs> class. All right. I was like, uh, I was like, I see him, and I throw the second half of my sandwich at him. What sandwich? Oh. You you just throw it at me? Did, why is this a greeting? <laughs> I I grab I'm it like, actually. Because I'm assuming you didn't eat since it was your first day here. The, the, the you didn't know any of the. A nightmare. Yeah, I was this like, you didn't know sucks. any of the, the rules, so I threw my second half of the sandwich uh, at you, uh, as a greeting. I, I inhaled a sandwich. But, <laughs> I was like, does he catch it or not? I was like, that's the... What? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he's he alert. He's enough. <laughs> he's alert enough to catch it. It wasn't one of those, like, uh, across the classroom. It was kind of like, as you pass him by, you kind of just throw it to his side. As yeah, he... it was one of those uh, tosses. He feels grab it. <laughs> I, I open it and inhale it as, as we're, like, listening to what... It, well, has the class started? Are we there? Uh, everyone is now taking their seats, so okay. you got to find your seat. I'm sitting near people I know, I guess. Uh, Actually, the, where, are the, where are they sitting? Uh, where are you guys sitting? You uh, It's kind of... There's no seating chart yet. You're kind of just sitting wherever you want. So, I mean, there's a bunch of students that are taking the good spots, you know. I'm, I'm, off in the corner to the very back row. Yeah, that's kind of Damn, I was going to call that spot, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... The, the best spot to, like, just fall asleep in. Is what I'm calling Gotcha. It does happen to be... I have a goal here. <laughs> <laughs> there does happen to be across the room towards some of the, uh, the cabinets for uh, stored supplies. Um, you know, there's... There's a group of desks kind of all facing each other and like a, you know, one of those square formations. Everyone's kind of like at a different angle, but all together so where you can easily talk to one another. You're all going to go and have a seat there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, I'll walk that way. Yeah. We're all friends. Kind of. Got you. Well. Thank you for the sandwich. As you all do that, you are greeted by, um, uh, Miss Teresa, the fashion tech student, she's like, welcome students. 
I hope you all are where you're supposed to be in fashion tech. So, um, can, can you... Uh, I'm listening. As she continues, again, kind of, kind of, uh, not glancing towards you, but she's like, I hope you're all supposed to be here. And then immediately on that, there's like a few people are like, I'm not supposed to be here. I asked for, uh, you know, wood shop. I would have asked for auto if I could. It's, it's fine, man. And she's like, well, well look, at, look at all the hot chicks, man. <laughs> she's like, well, I don't know what to tell you students, uh, until they sort out the schedules. I know we make mistakes every year. You know, things aren't perfect. We're all human beings. So, uh, can, do you guys mind shipping? Yeah, I don't think they mind having your, you're going to be the one student with the desk where your back is to the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so you can I'm just, just, I'm, I'm just going to have a little bit of shout out. You guys just cover for me, please. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, again, having said that, you know, they, the girls are kind enough to let you have your back to the teacher. They're kind of putting your head down, whatever you're doing, to try to catch catch up on rest. Uh, the teacher's like, okay, you know, we got some... We have some things we're going to be making. We're going to do pillows. We're going to make some pants. I'll grab my backpack, and I'll put it on top of... Um, mm -hmm. I forget his name. <laughs> oh, I'm Wall? Yeah, I'll put it on top of him. And then I'll grab Kim's backpack and start stacking backpacks on top of him. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> there you go. She's like, okay. Well, students, as we know, until you're going where you want it to go, you're going to be here. So we'll try to do something that everyone can enjoy. Today, we're just going to be introducing ourselves. If we have enough time, I can put on a movie. And she kind of just rummages through some DVDs on that like ancient DVD player that's like attached to the TV. It's in that perfect little like. It's even bolted down. No one can take it. <laughs> it's like, we got some options. We got uh, The Wedding Singer. We got uh, 51st Dates. We got... Uh, we got... Uh... And she goes on and on. You know, conveniently, they're all Adam Sandler movies for some some reason. Perfect. But she's like, you know what? We're... Wedding Singer. Here you go. Your kids will enjoy this. So I got some some forms, you know, kind of just put, write your name, circle the things about you. It's one of those questionnaires, you know, what are your hobbies? What are your likes? Uh, you know, who who are your heroes? What are you hoping to learn this year? So you, everyone's kind of just like, as the movie's playing, everyone's, you know, getting their pencils, um, filling in the sheets about yourselves. And we can cut. Also to to Sky, who's more or less doing the same. He's kind of by himself again. Terry, he's uh he's absent from school, so we'll say more about that later. But doing the same thing, you know, icebreakers. It's kind of the norm. So it's just introducing yourself, hopefully making some friends, finding someone to talk to. Same thing with Maximus. He's teaching them kids, <laughs> bettering the youth. You know how it goes. Um. You all make it through the next few periods, and then you hear the final bell ring for today. Ring, 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 ring. And then again, as like, as all the students just rush out, not even waiting for teachers, it's like, and then remember students, make sure to fill out your questionnaires, bring them back tomorrow. Uh, we'll be starting the syllabus beginning, we'll say Thursday. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. There's kids passing out, passing through. Kids, you know, they're shoving the metal heads. There's, you know, they all have their designated areas. Everyone's kind of hanging out after school. Um, Straight to the car. I need to go find uh, more spots. <laughs> the wall goes straight to his car. We'll, we'll cut there, so. He's going to his car. Uh-uh. As you're making your way to the car, you, I think I did mention that you managed to cut someone off to take that, that yeah, parking yeah, spot. Yeah, of course. It's, so, it's, it's my spot. <laughs> again, with your whole thing being speed, it does look like there's a group of students and they're kind of mad. They are heading in your direction, but again, you're not, you are obviously just too tired to notice or care. You're already in your car, making your way. 
and they're like, hey, and then, you know, kind of not knowing anybody, you don't think they're referring to you. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they? <laughs> and it's like, hey, you, you in the red, you in the red. Yes. And that's like, who do you think you are? I'm Walt Parker. Who the fuck do you, who the fuck are you? And it's like, who am I? <laughs> You must not be from around here, right? Just moved to town. <laughs> well, there's some rules you need to know about. You see that parking spot you're in? My parking spot? Yeah, I see it. It's a nice spot. Yeah, that's my parking spot. I've had it all year. <laughs> year just started. And clearly I have it, so... Well, let me rephrase that. Let's just say I have a certain luxury and my parents happen to know some of the faculty and I've had it arranged where I have a parking spot. Oh, well, maybe you should get to your parking spot sooner <laughs> if it's really yours. All right. Well, fair warning. Just letting you know. I'd uh, hate for something to happen to you tomorrow if I uh, see you or anyone else in that spot. So, again, they kind of give you... They kind of give you one of those uh, hard shoulder passes where they walk past you and everyone in the in the group kind of just, you know. Oh, I, I nudge all of them back. like. <laughs> okay, antagonizing them. <laughs> all right. Again, they kind of just, you, you know. You guys want to fight? Oh. <laughs> they're like, all right. Like I said, you know, I'm feeling nice. I'll let you know how it's going to go. We'll see how tomorrow. Whatever happens is on you. And they kind of just like, one of them's like, yeah, it's on you. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one that'll be in <laughs> face first in the dirt. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> you're a talker. Huh? <laughs> I do more than just talk. <laughs> There's a reason I moved to this school. Hmm. He's like, all right, new kid, we'll see. We'll see, like I said, tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what kind of a day you want. And again, on that, before you can get any more words in, they kind of just... Turn around, walk towards their car. I, I get in my car and I just start doing donuts in the fucking... <laughs> like right in front of their car, too. <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right. And as they get into their car, they're obviously a group a group of friends. Again, watching you, kind of harking. Is the other Jeep still there or are the, the, the dancers gone? Out of curiosity. <laughs> they're gone. Okay. Yeah, they're well, not I'm, there. I'm still just doing donuts. Uh -huh. uh, dogging them. Again, again, some of the staff are starting to, like, look through the windows. They're like, what the hell's going on? It looks like some teachers might be going your way if you don't stop soon. Uh, fine, I'll just bolt it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so again, you've kind of leaving some, some skid marks. Just perfect donuts. Right around their car, <laughs> as you as you leave the school. <clears throat> Again, it's like this guy's like, "Wow, was that?" He's thinking to himself, "Was that? Was that Wall?" <laughs> People are like, "Who the hell is that kid?" <laughs> You've already kind of just left an impression. People are curious about you. Don't know if it's a good curious or a bad curious, but you. Oh, I I also make a note of what car they have as I'm doing the donuts. That's important information. Okay. 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 I think for me, since I was probably, I'm thinking I was in the front gate, about to leave. I still wonder how his car can not break down after doing <laughs> all those donuts. I know. This guy's like, I don't even know, and I rode in it. Let me tell you. Uh, last time I take a ride. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> so? <clears throat> I was like, get to win the lesson the hard way, I guess. Yep, yep. That's for sure. So, uh, as as everyone's kind of just making their way home, doing their own thing, it's about, you know, uh, 2.30, we'll say, as when uh, dismissal is. So, you guys got a full a full day ahead of you. Um, does anyone have any personal things they want to do, being out of school, any places they need to be? Maybe karate dojos, maybe someplace to relax. Uh, homework that needs to be graded, experiments that need to be worked on? Um, I think we go home to get my uniform to train. Uh, scan the streets for other racers. Okay, so 
while uh, familiarizing himself with the layout of Angel Grove. Uh, he's in the school district. He's he's finding out, you know, learning all the the alleyways, back roads, the roads. He's taking note. He's getting. He's you know. He's doing his his um his patrol. He's getting his uh his recon down. So he's doing that. And, and like I like I promised Zordon, if I see any of the the putty patrollers, I am going to aim to run them over. <clears throat> okay. Well, thankfully you don't see any of the putty patrollers. It, it's pretty tame. Like Zordon said, they were out. They've been in random locations. They haven't really figured out why, but it looks like they've been patrolling areas there's no rhyme or reason to it but they are present in angel group okay. uh so lilith is going to go get her uh her uniform for pit viper kai <clears throat> um oh i was gonna ask i was like uh instead of going to pit viper kai i was like don't i just train at home since like uh i travel like our, our, my parents move so much that i just i guess they come with their own little Dojo. Ah. She trained with her parents. Got you. Yes. You kind of doing that uh, karate kid. You do have that uh, <laughs> dojo on your uh, on your uh, residence. So you do kind of do that. You do have a sensei though. Obviously being associated with the school. You're you're not always in attendance, but you are counted among their ranks. Uh, uh, it is you, Terry, and Sky. Uh, are the three We'll say the uh, highest ranking students in Pit Viper Kai. There okay. are definitely, you have your teacher's praise. There are students that aspire to get to your, your level in rank. Um, you're definitely on, from time to time, maybe your sensei gives you, um, you know, pupils to train. Uh, uh, but thankfully there's none of that as uh, it's been a new school year. So you're kind of just free to train at your house. And is there anyone else that wants to do anything with the uh, school being out? I was like, what do teachers do after school either way? <clears throat> Plan for the next assignment. Oh, you know, teacher things. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's got to run some experiments with his blow up dolls. <laughs> We could cut there, well, but well, what he's working on is kind of hush hush. It's on the new new, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> to to be uh, revealed at a later date. But um, as everyone's kind of doing their thing, um, you know, an hour kind of passes and everyone gets the do 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 do. And you all remember that you have risk communicators that were handed out by Alpha upon gaining entrance to the command center. And it's an alert that everyone should be replying to. So. Kind of instantaneously, Alpha can be heard from everyone's wrists. Rangers! Rangers! Where do I need to be? What's up? We need you all at the command center. Immediately. Are you in a safe location for teleportation? Uh, I mean, I can get uh, there in like five minutes. I was like, give me a second. Uh, I need to change into something else real quick. Give me I'm like good. five minutes and I'll be there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we have time to wait for that. Ay, ay, ay. But, okay, I'll give everyone two minutes. Please be ready. So, everyone has two minutes to kind of scramble to do what they got to finish doing if they were working on something. Well, I, I got to, all right, so I got to find a nice corner to drift my car into. <clears throat> okay, so in your travels, you, like you said, you were kind of just doing recon. Also, half for other things, half for, you know, putties, just looking for trouble. Uh, doing your part to help the team in Zordon. Uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, Maximus is he's uh, he's pro preoccupied at uh, Angel Grove High, working on his experiments. Sky, uh, uh, obviously, uh, you know he's at Pit Viper, the dojo. Uh, um, Terry again, kind of just, kind of just off, off to the, uh, off the grid. We'll say he's not res not replying to the, to the. Uh, risk communicator so um for me i guess i realize i don't have enough time to change so uh, i look for a safe place where i won't get spotted by my teacher or family of her home to get transported <clears throat> got you okay everyone makes those uh their 
They're uh, they're due timely uh, excuses if there happen to be amongst company, and then you all safely, you know, allow yourselves to kind of, you know, slip away. I make a note that I don't need my car. <laughs> Wall makes a note that he does not need his car, but it is parked off. You know. Yeah, it's in a safe spot. Yeah, you you happen to found like a a little residential area. There was some parking. It's you're not gonna be in any trouble if the car's there. So. You're kind of just there. You kind of sneak into an alley. Everyone gets teleported. <clears throat> Everyone turns into their spectrum color from their current locations. Gets beamed up into the sky. On being beamed up into the sky, you all travel to the mountain range into the power chamber of the command center. All at the council of Zoran and Alpha. Ah, Rangers, you're here. We have some news. And then Sky's like, uh, what is it? What is it, Alpha? He's like, we might have found the location of the ancient power weapons. Cool. So, the, so then we're going to the moon, right? So aye, 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 not the, the moon. Is that where? Oh, that's where the, the lady was. We got to go beat her up. Yeah, also, might? I mean, you're calling us on a hunch? Yes. Even if it is a hunch, it's imperative that we keep track of these. Should they be destroyed or fall into the hands of Rita, that could dampen your abilities to defend Earth. And then Zordon agrees. Alpha's correct. So, hear me out. We should, uh, like, just, just monitor the spot where it might be and just wait for her to appear. And then we show up and we beat her up. And then we don't have to go to the moon. It's good planning, robot. Yes, except we're not going to the moon. I don't know why you're obsessed with the moon. Because that's where she is. How else do we kill this woman if we don't go to the moon? Rangers, we mustn't kill. I don't Alpha's know. Correct. Those, those ugly range? gray things, I think we killed them the other day. You were defending yourself. Self-defense. Remember, we mustn't escalate a fight. If we can't kill, what about near death? <laughs> Triple, maybe? I mean... Rangers, again, what you do to defend this planet and yourselves in dire situations. So we're, we're, we can't be on the offensive on this? We can't be proactive with our defensive Earth? Unfortunately, can't. We want to be having a good defense. Our what offensive if, plan should be our last resort. What if I'm fearing for my life right now and I need to attack? Then, of course, self-preservation... Yes, I understand let's, that. Let's help you can do what you to need to do. Alright. But we, remember. We gotta, we got, guys, we gotta come up with a plan to get the moon to attack us. So that way we can go beat Are we gonna antagonize the moon now? Yeah, alright. <laughs> Again, Sky's kind of just like, uh, I don't know if we want to antagonize whoever this Rita was her name. That is correct, Sky. We've never even met her. We don't. From what you said, she's not a good person. I think... And she's going to keep trying to attack us. Correct. But so, you've stopped her before, Rangers. Remember, we can defend Angel Grove again. So she's the villain. What if we get her to give up by being better villains than her? So she wouldn't, have, she wouldn't even have to bother her anymore. <laughs> uh, an interesting plan. But one, I do not think we will be... Following through with, again, we do not escalate battles unless absolutely necessary. I guess I gotta keep that in mind. All right, just, just keep reminding me of that. I'll, I'll keep that in the back of my head. I guess we're not going to the moon. So where are the no, like, But another option is uh, one of you guys can try to woo her if she likes men. <laughs> and yeah, I was like maybe Mug or uh, our professor here can. Uh, Get married to one, so. Well, like, aye, aye, aye. I've heard good things about love changing a person. Who, that who is wants true. to? Who wants to take the bullet? Not me. <laughs> Not it. I think our teacher is the only one that's old enough or close to her age that can uh, get married to her. <laughs> Everyone else would be considered a uh, what is it called? Jailbait. Mm. Well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if well, you see, before I moved here, I used to be a miner in the coal mines, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, uh, if he was a miner, a miner, I gotta yeah. respect his miner status. 
Indeed. <laughs> Plus, I do not know if Rita Repulsa has any ounce of love left in herself. She has a lust for power, and it is all consuming. She has cone boobies, though. I'm not sure if I'm down for that. Yes, her battle armor. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yes, battle ready armor. Okay. <laughs> but we called you here because we have found a location. But here's the thing the location of the power weapons is moving every few hours. I was going to say, we didn't nix the plan on, on setting up a trap for whoever tries to appear at the thing, but I guess that does kind of nix that plan. All right. You got to lead with all the information, Alpha. I tried to, but you rangers kept interjecting with plans I mean, of the moon and... What's the difference aye, aye, aye. between a trap and an ambush? Not a whole lot. Yeah. One of them's not obvious, I think. You're the teacher. You should know this. <laughs> I'm asking the robot. <laughs> oh. Hi, yi yi laying traps, ambushes. Ah, I don't know if we should be doing this. Ah, Zordon, my circuits. Hmm, again, everyone, Alpha, is trying to put their own good ideas on the table for our next course of action. Ah, teenagers. But anyway, Rangers, like I said, the location of the power weapons are moving every few hours or so. Which... Do, you, do you know a specific time when they move, or is it just, like, random? We haven't been able to ascertain any pattern, but we do know it is at least in between a two to three hour window. Okay, so I, I get, we have to go there and just get them. Yes, yes, but there's something you should know. The Morphing Masters made sure that this area was booby-trapped. So it could be very, very dangerous. Hold up, hold up. So, so it's okay for you're them to lay traps. Us laying traps, but these morphing masters that make our weapons can trap things. <laughs> yes, to protect them, so that the forces <laughs> of evil shouldn't find them and use them against us. But we can't set a trap for the forces of evil to find them, so to not use the weapons against us. Ay, ay, ay. It seems like we're going around in circles. Maybe we'll have to revisit this trap idea at another time. But. And then just on that note, we hear the, we hear the viewing globe siren alarm. Ew, ew, ew. You have a lot of like. Ah, I know. Rangers, let's all observe the viewing globe. So, everyone makes their way down to the viewing globe, where we can see the images of putty patrollers at a local park in Angel Grove. And it's like, there's civilians kind of just having a, uh, you know, walking their dogs, playing soccer, different, different uh, sports, people just laying down trying to get a nap, and the putties are coming in. We, we gotta help those people. Let's go. And it looks like they're kind of just shoving away, kind of acting recklessly, causing chaos and mischief. That's like, Wall is right. We do need to get you there right away. Those citizens need help. Let's go. Let's do this, team. All right. Prepare for teleportation. As Alpha puts in the coordinates. And he's primed for teleportation, taking you to the park. And then that note, we're going to take a five minute break and then we will arrive at set park. So, uh, everyone hang tight. We're going to take five minutes and then we'll be back with our, uh, our battle for today. So All right. let me take us to, uh, our cool chili dog jazz. Here we go. Give me one second. Okay. Welcome back everyone. Sorry for the extended break. Uh, we had, uh, some updates and we have. Yet again amongst us, Terry, he was able to uh, come in remote, so he's able to join us. We, you know, obviously we got to take the time to get him in. We're not going to let one of the Ranger family leave him out in the, all alone, so he's here. Um, last we left, before our break, we had the putties in a group at one of the neighboring parks of Angel Grove. Again, so the citizens are being attacked, they're kind of just 
rummaging through supplies, going through picnic baskets, you know, acting no smarter than the average bear. Who knows what they're even doing there, why they're there, but, you know, it's, they're causing enough trouble where they were picked up by the viewing globe, so. Everyone got teleported. And let me key in our new location, the park. Uh, so for those uh, on stream, you can see the command center has been replaced by a, you know, average looking park. Nothing too special. Uh, just some uh, Angel Grove citizens trying to enjoy their day. Uh, buddies wreaking havoc, uh, of course, by the orders of Rita Repulsor or her general Goldar. Brought to life by her monster maker, Finster. The rangers arrive on the scene. All in a, in a, in a, you know, formation in unison in a, in a straight line. They can see civilians getting tousled, you know, thrown to the ground, pushed. Others are being attacked. Um, does anyone want to make the, uh, first, first move and, um, walk towards initiate battle with the putties again? They yeah. don't know you're there, but they will soon. I am. I'm gonna get. I'm like, guys, let's go. Let's do this. And then I go charge in head first, ready for combat. All right, and and this guy's like, if he goes, I go. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> nope. Uh, the Rangers charge head first into battle uh, against some putty patrollers. And I'm going to switch us to our battle our battle map for the stream. So this is brand new. We're trying a new feature today. So forgive us if it's, uh, you know, not, not the smoothest. But uh, we're working with it. And it should be a lot of fun. So. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm out front ready to fight. Here we go. So I'm just going to explain some things for the stream. We have what you see before you is our battle map. Uh, it's the open grass area of the park, you know. Like I said, there are some sports being played. We have, you know, it's, it's a big enough field where you could do soccer easily, you know, uh, fly a kite, you know, do some do some laps on the track, that kind of a thing. So very spacious, lots of room for a battle, uh, minimum harp to civilians. It looks like everyone, everyone who's not being attacked by the putties is, you know, just fleeing for their life. It's, you know, things are getting out of hand, but. Uh, I do say uh, the stream, you should see everyone's stats on the left-hand side. Uh, they should be able to monitor their any of the rangers, their health at any given time. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on for everybody. Uh, everyone's stats should be now present on stream. And I will do my best to monitor them and keep them updated in real time. Um, we do have some putties. Bring in the putties. We got a few. Again, they're not in. They're not in a large number. They are could be doing reconnaissance. Could be, you know, trying to look for something. We don't really know. All we know is that they're here in Angel Grove, and that's not a good sign. So we had Wall charge in head first. We had uh, Sky close behind. Everyone else is still in the back of the line. They're making their their opening moves. Guess someone's got to keep them alive. I'm the Red Ranger. <laughs> Making all the smart choices. Exactly. So, as you guys can see, Putty should be populating. Looks like the, uh, some Putty's off to the side, some to the right. We got some flanking. They're kind of spread out a good a good amount. Uh, if I zoom out, again, a, a cool little feature. Uh, you can see there, again, it's a field, so. 
We've already run initiative, so the first player to be going will be Walt Parker. I'm going to go ahead and do a static initiative. I'm going to roll once for the entire putty group uh, to help make combat a little more uh, smooth for today. So I'm going to roll for them. Ooh, you want? Okay, they're not going to like this. <laughs> okay. Somehow beat my initiative. No, they uh, they rolled an eighteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're going to be ahead of Lilith. I'm just having a few technical difficulties. Let me go ahead and add this one. Let's see if it will work. Um. Uh, okay. So I think because there's a few instances of a ranger multiple times, it's kind of uh messing with the the board. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let's see this buddy should now be named one if I did it correctly uh, which it did not um, Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, yeah. They have names now. Yes. There we go. So, throwing them on the initiative. Again, they're all going to go. Uh, let's do a coin toss. So, between myself for the putties and Lilith, I believe. So, flip your coin. Tell me if you get heads or tail. Heads, you will take precedence over the putties. And tails, putties will go before you. Let me know what you get. Uh, if you need me to flip a coin, just let me know. I can also do it. Uh, I got tail. Okay. Uh, I do believe that means that uh, putties are going to go second right after Wall Parker. Okay, so... Uh, putties have been numbered. I'm gonna bring them up on the Twitch stream and and the uh, On screen so you can see their stats. So without further ado, uh, Wall, take it away. You're first in this combat. Putties are going to be going second. All putties. Oh god, no. I moved someone. Mm -mm, that's well, alright. Well, I'm already standing next to a putty. I charge forward. Uh, I'm gonna punch this guy in the face. Alright. Um, that is an 11 with a crit. Ooh, 11 with a crit, you say? Yes. Okay, so. Ooh, you get very, very close. Again, you're kind of amped up. Didn't have so much of a break. You, you did inhale that sub, but the fact that you didn't get your, your sleep. So you're a little fatigued. You're, you're off your game slightly. You do swing for the putty, um, but the putty, you know having been well rested, we'll say, is able to just evade your attack, and it goes, leaps to the side, doing this kind of mocking you kind of a thing. And then I'm going to use my movement to just get behind the boys. Fuck them up, guys. All right, there we go. So we're going to go ahead. All the putties are going to go next. So I'm going to be rolling for putty number one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to go for, I think, uh, let's see. Moving, 5, 10, 15, 20, 
is within its movements range, and it is going to try to attack you. Okay. So, buddies, strength and numbers, that kind of a thing. I am going to roll an attack. All right, here we go. And... Oh, uh, whatever. Ah, were you talking about your first roll should have had a downshift? Yeah, it should have been a coin. It, uh, it still missed. Still missed. It definitely wouldn't have hit, though. Okay, glad you remembered that. So, gotta remember. And this is only specific to our Red Ranger. But uh, for his for his influence and um, in his background, he <laughs> has to take the a downshift immediately after rolling initiative. So, he might not have the best first turn in battle. Ever. Who's to say? Um, okay, so I got a colossal fumble. I'm going to get a story point. <laughs> oh, good. You need that. I need a story point, yeah. So, again, this buddy kind of just jokingly mimicking you. Again, they think they have the upper hand, strength and numbers, that kind of a thing. What are you going to do? You just look like... You look just like the other civilians that they've been tossing around. I'm going to, like, push him on the ground. So, he actually lets you push him to the ground, and he falls. So, he you push him a good amount, he's actually going to go back about one more... Two more. We'll say right there. So he gets you. You move him. He doesn't take any damage, but he is like on the ground, just kind of flailing, <laughs> almost in jester. What? <laughs> Bring it. So I'll take the rest of you on too. <laughs> A certain dominance. So we got putty number two. Uh, putty number two is gonna go ahead and move. Let's see, five, ten within their movement range, and it's gonna try to have a coordinated strike against Sky, our Yellow Ranger. So let me roll. We're going to do a regular just clobber in time. Okay, let's see. Does that hit? And... Ooh, that does hit. So, this guy kind of just like seeing you take the first, you know, the first miss. It's kind of got him off edge a little bit. He's, he's wondering, okay, I'm committed to this, but he, he does get tagged. Uh, um... He does get tagged. So the putty kind of just, he sees, the other putty sees you push it. So it kind of just pushes him uh, or tries to at least. And he kind of does like, like a half turn. And he kind of gets his, like his shoulder nudged, not in a direct punch, but enough to do some damage. So he's going to take one point of damage. Exactly. And then for attack, uh, just to give my Rangers a refresher course. So attack, if you look at your character sheets, you should have um, underneath your description and your language on the very top, top right hand side, um, you should have a name, a range, uh, an attack. It's just a martial arts if you happen to be a martial artist or an unarmed strike or an unarmed um, blunt, blunt strike. Um, it should be in the top right. Um, And it should be your whatever your might is or your finesse, depending on what it is, plus whatever the uh, the D the D number of of dice I have. So for example, um, guy he has a might plus a D six, so he's gonna roll his might, which is he has a D six, so he's gonna roll a D six uh, uh, in addition to his D twenty. So so. You don't have to look at your stat. I've already put it, uh, what you need to roll in addition to a d20. So it'll always be d20 plus whatever number is there. Which for a lot of you should be a d2 or a d4 uh, pit viper roll. They strike hard, so they might be in 6 and above. But uh, sadly, this guy, uh, he did take 1 damage. So we're going to go to Putty Patroller number 3. one I didn't almost mark. And we're gonna move, let's see, 5, 10, 15, kind of just, you know, closing in, <laughs> closing in. Closing you off. Let's see. He's gonna attack. This time he's gonna attack, uh, Terry. And that is a 13. I don't think that, uh, is greater than your, your toughness, correct? Correct, that's a miss. Okay, yep, that is a miss then. Uh -uh. Tries to just go for you, but you being, you know, the uh, the number one, uh, uh, the, the prodigal student of Pit Viper, you kind of just evade. Very nonchalantly. 
Next, we're going to go to buddy number four. He's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right within its range. And again, going to try to hit Kimberly, the pink ranger. So I'm going to roll just another blunt strike from the putty. Ooh, okay. That is a crit. So let's see. Um, Cannibal Queen, do you happen to know your... Uh, your evasion no. off, uh, offhand. If not, I can look it up for you. What? Sorry. Oh. Um, do you happen to know your evasion? If not, I can... Or your toughness, I'm sorry. Your toughness. Yours is a 14. It misses. Okay. okay. So you're good. So these putties are swinging and they're missing. And then we have our final putty. The lone putty who's off on his own. Number five. Coming in. That was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 within their movement. Try to attack the pink ranger again. Maybe second time's the charm. That is a... That's a miss. So you're lucky. So both putties, again, you're pretty agile. You're very... You've got great reflexes. <laughs> very fast on your feet. Uh, again, you're able to, to dodge. So now, with all the putties having gone, uh, we go to Lilith. Okay, uh, let me see. So I roll a d20, right? And the d... I'm trying to look up the other one that I have. Was it a d4 or d6? Uh, let me see. Give me one second. Can I help you out? So, so you're going to go with your, your might, your martial arts. You're going to use that Muay Thai. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you're going to roll a d20 and you're going to do a d2. So, if you can flip okay. a coin or roll a dice, even, it's two odds, okay. it's one. Or we can flip a coin for okay. you if you need to. Okay. Okay, so first, I'm going to move, actually, closer to uh, 15. That way. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to attack with uh, probably an uppercut. And I get a... Well, so for D20, I got a 10, and then for the coin flip, I got an even. I got a 2. Ooh, okay. So you said 12? Yeah. All together. Ooh, just kind of like the Red Ranger. You're, you're so close. Just like, again, these buddies have been here. They've been wrecking stuff for, for a while. They're, they're, they're kind of just, you know, they're amped up. <clears throat> so, like, you miss by a hair. And I mean, like, a hair. But they're, like, again, kind of seeing how... You came by yourself, starting to consider that you guys might be a threat to them. So they're going very defensive, kind of does one of those matrix, just bends backwards being they're made of clay. So they have some, uh, you know, some very good um, bendability. So he bends back, dodges your uppercut, and uh, just kind of just reforms, standing straight up, ready for what happens next. Okay. And then um, I get to move 20 spaces, right? That was... Yes, yeah, so you can still move, correct. Okay, I'll just move one back from there to give me a little bit of space between me and the buddy. And I'll end my turn there. Ah, okay. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead to our, our, uh, let's see. The... To be our Blue Ranger, Maximus, you're up. Okay, so what am I rolling? Okay, so... Uh, let's see. So you're going to be rolling... You're going to be rolling a d20 and a d2. Yes. 20 came out being a 9. And 2... There's a two here? <laughs> uh, there might not. Do you need me to flip a coin for you? Sorry about that. Oh, no, I found it. Okay. Actually, yeah, I don't know how to use this yet. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> flip <laughs> the coin, please. <laughs> I 
got a coin. Okay. Wall's got you. He's gonna see what you get. Uh, one. One. Okay. And you got a nine, correct? Yep. Okay, so that, that is a ten. Again, Rangers, you're, you're, uh, one on the offensive, but you're just, you're, you know, so far... So far, we're done. Well, we're, we're down one hit point. Yeah, down one hit point. It's all right. It's all right. I'll be I would, coach. Uh, you know, don't don't let our yellow ranger don't, get hit again. He's got one HP. Don't worry, our our big uh, damage <laughs> yeah. dealer is right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we're just retired from school, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, Zord Zordon asks a lot. I get you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, you can still move around if you want to. You you definitely have movement. Um, what? How many spaces can I move? Um, uh, let me see. For you. Mm -hmm. You got 30 movement, so you can move, you can move, uh, that's six squares in any squares. direction. Yeah, so you can move six squares. Every square is five feet, you have 30 feet, so you can move six squares in any direction. Uh, I can't look at her character sheet, uh, Pink's character sheet. Ah, Pink, okay, hold on. Um. Okay, one, two. There we go. All right. Okay. I like this. I like this. So far, the Rangers are down one HP. And next on the initiative, we have Kimberly Hart, so our pink Ranger. So. Uh, Cannibal Queen, you can go ahead and move. Um, we should have a lot of movement, actually. Yeah. You can move six squares in any direction, and you roll a d20 and a d2 to do an attack. Oh, okay. okay. How can I move it? Uh, you should be able to, uh, if you can click on your token, um, as long as you're clicking on it, you should be able to move. Uh, let me know if there's any any issues. Okay. He doesn't um, let me. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Let me see. Uh, can you? Uh, it's letting me. Oh, okay. Oh, you got it. Let's see. Try it. Oh, there we go. Yep. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to push the select. So on the on the right hand side, you got to be the little hand so you can move things. Sorry about that. Uh, FYI uh, okay. for all my rangers. Okay. 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 Um, I have to. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you're gonna attack, it's a D20 and a, and a D2. We can okay. put a coin for you if you need to. Just uh, let us know what your D20 is. Sorry, no rush. Again, we're all working through this. Our first time battling, so it's new for everyone. Second time. Oh, second time. Second time battling. First time first with time our with new... This system. Yeah, with this system. So, it's, it's working good. We're, you know, training wheels are... We're getting through it, but it's... I like it. So far, so good. <laughs> I have to roll, uh, 20, uh, which one? Uh, yeah. A d20 or you got 20? Yeah, you gotta roll a d20 and a d2. If you need us to roll a d2 for you, we can. I know it's not, it's not in the actual battle map, but... Wall, Wall was it? He's a gentleman and a scholar, so he rolled your your d your d two. So all you got to do is roll a oh, d twenty, okay. and, and let's let me I know which got a nine. Ooh, oh, okay. Again. A nine? Yeah, it's not gonna mm -hmm. hit. Yeah, not gonna hit. So again, everyone is just on the offensive. We're talking like hairline misses. Just you're right <laughs> there, and and his breathing space. You're going with your you know your capoeira. You're you're doing your kicks. 
<laughs> using your in your strong uh, strong pink ranger pink ranger abilities and your flexibility but again there this one's already kind of just green ranger didn't didn't come here to play you're here to take care of things protect angel grove so they're treating you they've begun to now treat you as as you know as as the enemy rightfully so but you do miss so so sorry about that <laughs> okay okay um next we have sky okay so sky is gonna go ahead and uh retaliate being part of a uh, pit fight for kai he doesn't want to take uh, another another point of damage so he's gonna go ahead and move 5 10 15 20 25 he's uh there, there's a few he's still adjacent he's gonna come over here kind of try to help out uh try to help out the girls okay so he's like all right i see you see if you can i'd like to see you dodge this all right being cocky, being cocky, amping up the team, amping up the team. Being, being cocky doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, doesn't hurt anyone. You show them, Sky. <laughs> okay, so yeah, don't disappoint us. <laughs> All right, Sky's going in with the Muay Thai. I'm gonna go ahead and do. One roll. Let's see. Guy's trying. I'm not gonna disappoint you, Terry. Here we go. Oh yeah, he hits. <laughs> he definitely hits. Uh -uh. So he's like, "All right, this is for my friends." And he just goes in. He like he does one of those like he he jumps in the air like he's gonna do a Superman punch, but he just comes down with his elbow and just nails the putty <clears throat> right in his head, and the putty. Falls like flat down to the ground, <laughs> and then just friendship. crumbles, crumbles. <laughs> yeah, and it's we're like, on the board. Yep, he's down. He's down. It only took three of us to kill one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Who's talking shit about our team? All right. <laughs> we we might need some of those um some of the some of those quips those uh I forget what they call from our Black Ranger, but uh -huh. he's like, you guys, we can do this. Unfortunately, he's a Vanglorious bastard. <laughs> so terry <laughs> you're next surely not to be I... <laughs> outshone by uh by sky but uh you're up you have your choice of many an enemy speech, speech, speech. you do got to give a speech you are vanglorious he always opens up so the special thing about terry is that he has to taunt the enemy every first turn of any battle encounter so <laughs> go ahead let's hear it let's hear your your, your battle cry <laughs> Come on, guys. You guys are going to let these piles of rubble kick your ass? <laughs> hey, only, only Sky is the only one that got his ass kicked. <laughs> He's like, I got hit once. I'm not going to let that happen again. <laughs> because he told me to. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can still attack him. Oh, I uh, He has to spend a standard action. So yeah. instead of movement action, he can swap he can, it. Yeah. So you still, you can't move anywhere, but you can attack any of the adjacent putties. Or you can move and not attack, but why would you do that? Yeah, or you can move and not attack. It's up to you. All right, what am I rolling? Let's see. So, uh, to my understanding, I'm rolling a d20, a d2, a d4, and two d6s. Uh, um, hold on. <laughs> I don't doubt you, but I just need to verify. I don't know why you get two d6s, but uh, everything else you said is correct. Yeah, so because my might is d6 plus another d6 on attack. So, oh, no, no, no. so so if you're doing your your muay thai you're gonna roll a d20 and a d2 a d4 and a d6 and the highest of the two four and the six you're gonna add to the 20 yes ah okay you don't roll two d6s yeah here yeah. that comes later <laughs> <laughs> yeah so go ahead um we can roll your d2 for you and you can roll uh your four and your six and your d20 and i'll let you know if you hit Okay. Yeah, well, I got a D2. Whoop. Okay, well, I rolled an 18. <laughs> I well, think you hit a 14 on the D20 and a 2 on both the D4 and the D6. A 2 on everything. Okay, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> so you hit, you hit for 20. So uh, I'm using my laser sight pointer, which uh, you have an option. You're adjacent to pretty much everything. So which one of those putties? Which one of these putties are you gonna turn to rubble? You got you got this 
Just bottom corner, you got to the right, you have in front of you, and then we have angle to your left. Any one of those you can work. Who, what's your choice? Okay, I'm just going to punch the, the one to my right. <laughs> Not even going to look at him, just going to punch him in the face. <laughs> just give him the back end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I like it, I like it. Everything's turning up Power Rangers. All right, there we go. Two two putties have now just taken direct blows and crumbled, turning into rubble. Uh, we start the initiative back uh, at the top. So, Wall, our Red Ranger, you're up again. All right, I'm going to go right over here and fight this number five. All right, putty number five. I like it. Go I ahead and D4, roll. Tell right. me what you get. D4. So, these two. Uh, well, it's 13, I guess. Okay, 13 you said. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. I I'm inspired by the, the two kills from Pit Viper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's just going to do, you're going to do like a, one of those blunt strike kind of a thing, pseudo chop. What are you, yeah, just, I'm just going fist fight? To, yeah, fist fight. I'm brawling. All right, all right. I'm Give preparing for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you're visualizing the funny as that one kid who just started a conversation with you. I I'm also going to try and dog number four while I kill his friend got you all right so again you you definitely uh yeah you, you marked number five right correct yes. all right yep that's good rangers are uh, everything's turning up rangers there's a uh, three putties left we're gonna now commence with the putty order so i'm gonna start right here instant retaliation from the putty that is in front of terry so again they're like and again, they're kind of just, he's getting those Hulk hands, he's morphing his, he's like, he's inflating, he's getting those anchor arms from Spongebob, and he's like, he's gonna just try to, like, give you the clamp. He's gonna try to hit you, so let's see. <laughs> and, ooh, yep, uh, your evasion is... Sixteen. I got some bad news. You've uh, I guess that inspiration goes both ways because that putty does clip you. Uh, -uh. rolled in, rolled in eighteen on my d twenty. <laughs> so you're gonna take one point of damage, putting you at at two. I think at, he has three health. Three health, correct. You're at three, and it should be up on the stream. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see. Seeing as uh, you're kind of inspiring, uh, next putty off to your right hand side is again gonna retaliate, doing the same thing, blading their arms. This one's gonna add some spike, he's gonna try to get you. Here we go. And okay, that is a miss. You got you know, you took one punch, that was obviously a mistake. You're not gonna let that happen again. Kind of do one of those cool parries. Uh, you stop it. None of the uh, the jagged edges of the putty's uh, club hand even come close to getting you. Uh, uh, but his friend over here is going to go ahead and again, strength the number. So they're all going gunning for you. <laughs> gunning for you. So, putty number four. Again, they're just going to try to hit you. Let's see what happens. And that is a miss. Straight up miss. You're just like you said. Not going to get hit again. That shouldn't have happened in the first place. And he winds up his arm. Kind of trying to go for like one of those. Popeye jabs. But it's easily just telegraphed. You know to dodge. You're using Pit Viper Kai. This isn't your first rodeo. <laughs> kind of chuckle. And it just weave out of the way. And then we go back to Lilith. For uh, third in the combat initiative. Okay. I was like, I think I can only move, so I'm gonna move to in front of the yellow ranger, and oh, okay. oh, and my turn next. Okay, protecting them. Only ranger who's who's one hit away. From uh, being defeated. I like Fine. it. Good looking out. Teamwork. 
Zordon's happy. <laughs> Gold star from Zordon. Okay, so that's your move. You're going to try to protect uh, Sky. Um, next up, we have uh, Maximus. You're, you're up. What is your, your next move? Um, can I move and attack or just move? Yeah. Yep, sure can. You can move, attack, and then move again if you have enough. You got, I'm pretty sure you have 30, um, 30 feet, so you can move five squares in any order as long as you just move the five. Okay. And which is the weakest right now? Um, they're all at the same health. They're all, okay, assuming so they're you all... hit them, you're probably going to knock them out. They're, they're putty, so they're not, they're not so beefy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then I'll move one space forward and then I'll roll. Yep. Correct. What's, uh, what am I rolling for? Uh, you're what rolling attack, rolling so you're going to do a, a d20 and I believe a d2. Yes, so uh, let us know what your d20 is and we'll roll the d2 for you. D20 is a 7. The trash rolls today, man. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah, not looking too good. Looks like you... You rolled a 2 on the coin, but yep. that doesn't help enough. It's a 9, <laughs> and as you've seen... Uh... Dude, I rolled 9 like twice already. <laughs> 11s don't hit. All right, yeah, 11s don't hit. So, again, um, you move, uh, like you said. You're kind of just trying to keep the momentum, the flow of battle numbers. We've only, Rangers yeah. have only gotten hit once. Kind of going for, you know, your, we'll call it the uh, the big brain smackdown. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just throw all your force into, like, a, we'll say, like, a, a, a donkey kick. You're just going to do a Ryu. <laughs> Try to get the wall bounce. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but again, kind of fighting isn't your uh, your forte, so to speak. So again, it's kind of easily telegraphed. And the putty kind of actually, it it uses your leg as like a, as momentum and it pushes off of it and it moves itself a little bit over here. Uh, you can still move, I believe. You've only moved once, so you have. You can reposition yourself if you want. Um, I think I'm okay here because I can. I can still attack diagonally, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, as long as they're okay. within, you're uh, a square away from you in any direction. And I think I'm in a good spot right now. All right. Very well. Okay. Um, that's gonna take us to. Our pink ranger. So, uh, uh, Kimberly, you're free to move around. You're free to attack if you want to use your uh, capoeira again. Uh, Pink Ranger, just uh, checking. Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no problem. Um, you can freely move throughout uh, anywhere on the map. Um, you can okay. You can attack someone. Don't have to attack. You can just reposition yourself. There, there also was a defend action. I should also remind everybody. Okay. Um, I can move here? Yes, correct, yeah. Okay. Um, and you're gonna uh, go for your capoeira again? Gonna play three or four? Yeah, that should be your uh, yeah, d20 plus a d plus a d2. Okay. d20, I got uh, 19. All right. One. Oh, 20. Plus. 20. Yep. <laughs> Dirty 20. You hit. It's, again, you kind of like, in your mind, everyone's giving themselves that, that pep talk. You're like, all right, this, this kick is going to land. You kind of do like <laughs> one of those upward strikes where you angle yourself almost like a seesaw. So like you use your hands to propel you to like almost like a handstand to push your kick into him. And you just kick his head clear off his body. That looks like that's a ton of momentum, and it's just damn. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, it's just like 
the head is rolling and the eyes are still blinking and then before you know it the body just crumbles and the head just crumbles into into clay Damn. dust <laughs> very well done very well done <laughs> so there we go uh, there are two putties left next up is going to be sky i believe so sky is going to be Thing as there's now more uh, more rangers in their putties, he's gonna go ahead and move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's gonna be here. He's gonna take the defend action. Uh, uh, and he's gonna call it a day. He's just gonna be there if his ranger friends need him. And now we're gonna go back to Terry. It's your, your move. Just a call out for for Terry, our Black Ranger, if you're there. Uh, uh, sorry if you're having uh, issues. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I will beat up the one next to me. All right. Go ahead and uh, roll your uh, roll your attack. D4, D6, and D20. And then why you want to flip my coin again? He's already got you. Okay. Whatever it is. <laughs> okay. It's a two. It's a two. So. Oh. Uh, so I rolled a five on the D20 this time. No. Uh, well. <laughs> a two on the D6. <laughs> you rolled a two on the six? Uh, I don't think you hit. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm... I don't think so either. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So, again, aiming for uh, this buddy right next to you. Um, they're seeing that their numbers are dwindling. They're kind of like in, you know, just survival mode. So, you kind of go for. You turn around, trying to do that backhand again. You're not even gonna look at the putty this time. <laughs> but the putty takes advantage of the fact that you turned around, and it kind of just. Dodges out of the way and goes back into place. <clears throat> kind of just does like one of those swerves again. I think they did it against Lilith where they... Well, they are clay, so they're a little bit bendable. Kind of just... <laughs> does one of those unnatural bends. His hands catch him as he makes like a perfect U. <laughs> uh, upside down. And then just propels himself straight back up. And is that going to be your turn? You can still move. You can also like give, give uh, inspiration. You, yeah, you can also inspire. Uh, you do have... Ranger abilities. Actually, all my rangers have abilities. <laughs> Can't, I need a power weapon to use mine. <coughs> so, um... Um, let's see. I'm going to move... Oh, I can yeah. move myself. Let's move right there. Yeah. Alright, that's it. All right, there we go. Uh, we're back at the top of initiative. We're back to our Red Ranger wall. Moving Take it away. Forward. I'm gonna continue brawling and to like knock this dude on the ground too. <laughs> Got you. Get for it. Got to channel my inner beating people up. <laughs> Pile drive them down. You're like, that looked pretty cool what uh, Sky, uh, Skywalker hey, this did. Is, this is how you do it, Terry. <laughs> Looks like he's giving you <laughs> some motivational support. So again, just, just comes clean down on him. Buddies don't know what's going on today. Um, he's going he's gonna to crumble into dust. <laughs> and then with the lone putty that's left... Uh, He's gonna gonna try to run away, like flee, actively flee. <laughs> so he's gonna use all of his movement, and he's gonna take it the fend action all the way out here. <laughs> End his turn. Uh, Lilith, you're up. Our Green Ranger. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to chase after him. That's like what, five, ten, fifteen, play. And I guess I'll end my turn there because I can't do much. <clears throat> okay. How far did she go? 20? Yeah. 
You, you can should... move two more forward. You have 30 movement. Yeah, you can move two more squares towards him if you want. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. Um, I think I'm able to use one of my special abilities, right? Or there's no um, one around you it. You should. Uh, looking at your special abilities, give me one second. So, you do have the solo strike ability. Uh, starting at first level, your Green Ranger is skilled at picking a single target and going at it one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Uh, this allows you to make a special kind of melee attack uh, by making only a single attack against an adjacent target, which is also not adjacent to any allies. You can apply the dice shift listed on the table above. Um, hit or miss, you may not make another attack in the round that you do your solo strike. So unfortunately, he's not adjacent to you, but you would get an upshift to uh, your die. So you would roll a d20 and a d, um, d4. So, but you do need to no. be right next to them. So you're just... Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was like, I'm one space away. Okay then. Yeah, I'll make them here. Okay. Get him! We gotta take him to the fountain. I yep. had a dream about this. <laughs> there was a fountain. Dreams. The teamwork. Team building. Uh, Maximus, brain is power. Our Blue Ranger, you're up. It is your turn in initiative. But he's on the run. Um, let's see. Through 11. Ooh, okay. An 11. So. Oh, he, to hit? Yeah. His D2 uh, is very critical here. He can actually hit. Hits. Yeah, that hits. Uh, do you have enough movement to get there? You he does. I'll, I'll move for him. Oh, go ahead. I moved him already 10. I did the math. You can go right there. There you go. Uh, uh, and uh, how'd you like to do this, our Blue Ranger? Give us the uh, the coup de grace, the finishing blow. Hmm. Oh, because it killed, right? Yep. This, uh, yeah, you're going to kill. We're going to hit. Hmm. How to kill? Shit. <laughs> There's so many ways. <laughs> I, just, right? I, I just saw John Wick, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How how was how was our science science teacher extraordinaire gonna John Wick this guy? <laughs> you gonna throw the calculator at him? <laughs> he's, he's gonna bring out his girls, infiltrate. smother him. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get let me get the the mug mobile. <laughs> um. So I RKO him. Uh -huh. Snap his neck. Ooh. Oh, all by, all by saying, Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Damn. You know what? That's a story point for you guys. <laughs> That's... I haven't even used any. I haven't even used any, but you guys got plus one for that kill. Again. Let me go mark that down on the tracker. That, uh. That buddy's out. It's a uh, good night. He's taking the, uh, the forever naps now. <laughs> So again, um, victory accomplished, job well done. Let me pause this really quick. So, uh, again, the uh, you've kind of already secured the park. Um, everyone kind of evacuated the area. Once you guys started taking on the putties, everyone, you know, just got the hell out of Dodge. Uh, you're kind of just left there. Again, no rhyme or reason why the putties were there in the first place. Well, let's go. Zordon said our weapons were here, so mm -hmm. let's go, I guess, so. look around. So before you can make any other um, action, <laughs> Alpha comes in and a dire, dire ay 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 rangers. There's a massive energy spike near you. Stay alert and be prepared for anything. And, and here I am without my car. <laughs> and almost in like a a cloud of of like miasma directly in front of you guys. Um, Steps out, Rita. 
Well, there she is. Let's go. Let's get her, guys. Let's Step, do it. Steps out. Goldar. Kind of like if you've ever seen uh, Avengers when Thanos uses the space stone, he kind of like that portal just kind of opens and out steps forth the general of Rita Repulsa and Rita herself. Kind of right. just looking you guys down. 2v5, guys. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> looking and like. Just angered, but also confused. And it's like... Goldar. <laughs> They've defeated the putties? Oh, my empress. It would appear to be so. These earthlings are not as weak as we were promised. No, those, those ugly dudes are pretty fucking weak. And she's like, huh. If I had to bet... I would say you must be Zordon's new band of Power Rangers. Sure. <laughs> That's us. Bring well, it. We're here to beat you up. Well, now. she knows how Thanks to make an entrance, entrance, but she brought her pet monkey. <laughs> uh, you'll regret calling me that. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen. I've seen this dude fight. You're right. I'm sorry. Flying monkey. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how well you laugh when my blade is through your chest. Rita, again, just kind of eyeing you down, taking careful calculations, just seeing everyone who's before her. <clears throat> if you guys definitely want to huddle up and make a line, I'd say do it now. <laughs> um... You can definitely, you can definitely get in ranger formation. I know where I want to be. I'm right where I'm, I'm right where I'm standing. Pit Viper Kai is going to be right here. There, there. Yeah, I'm maybe he should take too. one step back. <laughs> Actually, you're right. He's yeah. like, good. Thank you, thank you, Walt. Taking one step back. I, I, I like take my hand. I, I know how much, how hurt he got, and just shove him a little bit behind me. <laughs> there you go. He's like, all right. I got our rear in case anything happens. You never know if we're going to get flanked. He's got his arms up in a guard, just know, ready to muay thai something. Guy. Uh, and she's like, huh, well, to be honest, we thought the putties would be enough for you miserable humans. But it seems I was wrong. You were. We're enough to take you on right now. Let's do it. And she screams in like a loud crackle. Finster! We cut to the moon. Finster working on his monster matic on his masterpieces, his clay. And he's like... Again, those screams just echo, and they make it all the way to the moon. <laughs> uh -uh. And she's created a, a psychic link to Finster back uh, back in the moon palace. And he's like, oh, my empress, yes. What is it? What do you need? Finster! It seems your putties weren't enough for these, these, these mere teenagers. I think we need to even the odds and send down a monster. Ah, right away. And I have just the one. It was made this morning, and I needed a good excuse to see what he can do in combat. I'll send him right away. Excellent, excellent. Need to send more trash that we have to beat oh up. Oh no, the monkey's mother is coming. <laughs> I high five him. <laughs> That's a story point. <laughs> <laughs> so again, similar to the first like space miasma portal that, that, that kind of just like swooped in like a, like a darkness outcomes. Finster, uh, uh, right at Rita's side. She's like, Finster, you promised me a monster. And he's like, yes, my evilness, my queen. And he's right here. And out of his pocket, he takes a little clay, kind of like figure. <laughs> and he tosses it in front of Rita. And with her staff in hand, she kind of hits it with this dark, dark energy. And then it begins to grow and it begins to formulate and it begins to come, come to life and it changes from from the brown clay color to uh, to what you see before you. Cool trick. Uh, 
<laughs> you see a monster in a top hat made of skeleton and bones? Why With am a I sword? supposed to be, like, more afraid of the fucking Halloween costume? <laughs> the Halloween decoration, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't want to insult some costumes. And she's like, ah. Quick to the quips, I see. Ah, uh, that will be your downfall, rangers. And then you see, just hear Bones kind of speaking in a ghostly will. <laughs> and it's like, Finster? Is this going to get the job done? Yes, he should be more than enough for them, your I'll, evilness. I'll talk. <laughs> and she's like, here you go. Have fun with my monster. Have fun with you. <laughs> Bring it. Stay. Stay and join the party. <laughs> As she begins to activate her, her teleportation miasma again, the darkness encroaches, and they all walk through the portal. Uh, Goldar joins them. So... They walk through, they disappear. I knew the monkey would run away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the monster, uh, he's going to go ahead. Uh, and some of the rubble that's still on the ground, the, the crumbling of the dust that's been partially scattered, uh, he shoots beams that like come out of his mouth he opens his jaw and like essence comes out and it begins to seep seep back into the clay and the putties one by one uh, begin to reform structuring themselves regrowing any body parts or limbs if if they were lost one putty two putties Three putties, one's dangerously close to both. <laughs> Pink and yellow. Uh, yellow's the only worry. Uh, I'm not really worried. We, yellow's fine. The team is fine, guys. <laughs> we beat these things before. <clears throat> Damn, he summoned more trash. I know, right? Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> and then... The next thing he does... As he lets out another ghostly well. <laughs> Jumps into the air. Does a somersault. Immediately hops over. Wall. Comes right here. And strikes. At our yellow ranger. Preemptive. Alright, you guys buy one more. <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean more? <clears throat> And again, before, as he gets his sword up in the air, you all kind of have like a moment that like seems to stretch. You have a second where you're all in tune to each other and you're kind of all get the feeling that you're all having the exact same thought. Like there's something, there's something uh, that can even the odds. Mm -mm. You're all, you're all beginning to glow certain colors. Sky. Starts, he starts generating some, like, in his being, he starts to radiate yellow. Kimberly, she begins to radiate pink. Wall, he begins to radiate red. Terry begins to radiate black. Lilith, she begins to radiate green. Maximus, he begins to radiate blue. It's, it's becoming all-encompassing. Like, it's, it's starting in, like, your, your core of your body, and it's, like, it's, it's spreading. First... To your arms, down to your legs. It's beginning to come up over your heads, and you all have the strong urge to say something. <laughs> and you can't help but feel a strong, almost like a magnetic, like your coins wa are becoming very attracted to your morphers, like almost like they want to combine. <clears throat> and this does anyone. with the guy that Phil was talking about. <laughs> and then you all kind of have like at the same time that that memory of Zordon when he said remember Rangers when the time comes you will know what to do and you will know when the moment should arise and almost crystal clear like if you were back in the command center 
uh, uh, the day of the meteor shower. You all remember him saying, recite these words in order to enter your morphed form. Ceratosaurus. Pterodactyl. Triceratops. Sabertooth tiger. Dragonzord. And who's going to lead the the Morphin Time speech? Who's going to kick this off? Rangers, it's Morphin Time. Tyrannosaurus. I flip <laughs> my coin one more time and put it in my... Uh, Your power morpher? My power morpher. Don't even know what side I flipped it on. Just <laughs> shoving it straight in. You just you do one of those, you know, whatever is happening, it's, it's what's supposed to happen. <clears throat> we hear Wall immediately says the magic words. It's morphin' time. Tyrannosaurus. His his hue materializes this this suit of armor protecting him. <clears throat> Instantly has a utility belt with a blaster blade. <clears throat> oh good. I need that. <laughs> He's feeling energized. And what you see standing before you is our first Power Ranger from Earth. Who next does their morphing call? Rangers? Again, there's no initiative. Everyone's just kind of doing this instinctively, so. First to do it. <laughs> Unless you all want to do it at the same time, OG Power Rangers. <laughs> it's Morphin time. And I slip up, and I do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Next up, Maximus. He just he glows this radiant blue. He says the thing. His morph form materializes. He's now the mighty Triceratops Power Ranger. And he goes into his, his Ginyu Force pose, and he does one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Instinctively. He's never done this before, but he knows to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is next? <clears throat> Again, no. <laughs> don't all, don't all jump time. in at once. <laughs> I guess it's time. Time. All right, I heard Terry say the magic words. <laughs> it was the time. It's Morphin time again, Terry. Just morphs into the Mastodon. Again, has his hands up, feeling powerful. Helmet on, same utility belt. Has a blade blaster at his side, feeling powerful. Who who's next to heed the call? <laughs> Um, it's not a time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Kimberly? Yeah. Again. Same thing happens. You radiate, and this, this just all-encompassing pink, kind of, kind of, think Sailor Moon, just glittering, <laughs> sparkles <laughs> all around you. Kind of do one of those, uh, even do one of those spins. <laughs> Ah, uh, you should probably transport morph as well. <laughs> this guy's like, all right. I'd like to see you take us on. It's morphin time. Saber two tiger. The best one. <laughs> the best one. All the enthusiasm. It's like he's waited his whole life to say this. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he's kind of, he morphs, a brilliant flash of yellow light. He's now in his power suit, equipped with, with his blade blaster. No, I mean, Feeling the energy. Doing one of those, he's doing one of those Bruce Lee, just, he's, he's hopping on his feet, doing his fancy footwork. He's like, you know what to do, Lilith. Bring it home. I was like. Uh, it's morphing time. <laughs> Again. Got the green energy. 
You're you're a little bit special. You have green energy, but there's also a little bit of gold infused. <laughs> you don't have, you notice, you don't you have the same utility belt as everyone, but in place of a blade blaster you have what's called the dragon dagger. <laughs> kind of immediately just instinctively take it out. <laughs> and you're like this guy's like, Whoa! What's what's that, Lilith? What <clears throat> To which Lilith replies? Uh, a dagger, I think. I was like, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it starts kind of like glowing. It's like it's getting, it's Im imbuing you with energy. You don't know quite what it's doing, but like you're, you're definitely feeling like you got a little extra something, and then a shield materializes on your being, differentiating you from everyone else. <laughs> you're. Your collars, your boots, they all get a gold trim. And you have what's called a power shield. <clears throat> Giving you some extra sturdiness. And it's like... so special. <laughs> I, I, turn, I, I turn to Terry. What makes her so special? <laughs> right? How do I get a dagger? Gun, guns aren't really my thing. I'm fine with the gun. Isn't the gun a sword too? It's... A Kind of a dagger. It is. It, there's blade blaster mode, and then there's... there's. Yeah. It's both. Yeah, you can blast or you can I don't blade. know how I know this, but this is both. Yeah, it's both. You guys all know. It's like, instinctively, it's like, it can be both, you guys. <laughs> oh, you're right. I can totally stab with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you all, all right. kind of... Now, uh, go beat up this skeleton. Let's do this. All right. So, we'll keep the same initiative as before. I'm going to roll a static really quick. Trust me on this. Okay. Oh, good. That means I don't take a downshift and he doesn't have to be Vanglorious again. Exactly. Okay, so... Ooh, well... Uh, Bones and the Putties get... Let's see, I rolled... Do the Putties change their initiative? Uh, um, they're gonna roll separate from Bones. No, no, I mean, uh, is it the same Putties as last time? In the same uh, initiative, or are you... Technically, they're coming back, but it, they're gonna have a new initiative order. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Just checking, just checking. Yeah. And um, there, I'm gonna roll them next. So Bones got a 19. Oh, good. So he's definitely second. <laughs> Do we also change initiative? Uh, no, I think we keep initiative. You're gonna keep uh, same initiative as before. It's all right. You'll you'll understand why in a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna enable. Title him 19, and then I'm going to roll more static initiative for the putties. Oh. <laughs> well. Dirty 20. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad I'm still going first. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so the putties actually go before bones by one. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, so it looks like there's going to be a fight ensuing in uh, Angel Grove with the first monster of the week. With the Power Rangers. But before we can get to that, that's where we're going to end today's episode. So, kind of a cliffhanger. We're going to start things off next month with a battle. Rangers have finally morphed. Who's to say what's going to happen? Power weapons might come into fruition. We'll see what's going to happen tomorrow at school. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so, things have, things I, have been put into motion. I got some random people to beat up. Right after <laughs> I kill this fucking skeleton. <laughs> exactly but uh we will pick this up uh next month you guys so uh stay tuned um i can't hopefully... this on the skull <laughs> go for it man there we go someone say calcium right <laughs> oh man I, i'm pretty sure i'm about to give this this bones guy osteoporosis <laughs> <laughs> get boned get boned <laughs> Right, we're gonna put you in the museum where you belong. <laughs> but that is where we're gonna end things. So, uh, uh, thank you again to my Ranger cast for joining me today. Sorry again, we've been missing. We've had terrible, terrible, terrible luck. So many times we've tried to have one, but we got it done today. Um, next month we'll be back. We'll have a another episode. Um, Rangers are morphed. We're gonna see what happens from there. Weapons are trying to get located. Rita's starting to retaliate. 
uh, we'll pick it up from there. But um, otherwise, uh, as I always say, thank you again to everyone who stopped by for episode three of Vegos Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, uh, I just want to say, you know, your viewership and support never goes unnoticed. Take it for granted. And there might be something special for the next battle. Let's just say there might be some pay to win, pay to lose. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. I feel it's I time wait. to finally introduce it's time. it. It's time. The pay to lose. <laughs> yeah. So more about that uh, next next um, next tabletop RPG stream. But yeah, uh, that's gonna do it. Um, I will let you guys know when we're gonna have our next uh, episode, episode four, uh, as soon as we plan it out. But I just want to say, no matter where you guys are watching from, I hope everyone has a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm Eagle, the Visual Culturist. Your Power Rangers GM. These are my fellow Rangers, my teenagers with attitude, and we will see you next month. So, till then, take care, stream. <laughs> May the power protect you. Bye.